everybody. We're here to have a playtest video of the game Clash on Clashington. Uh, the main reason why I felt like adding this was because, although I have the tutorial video, which I'll have a link in the description, uh, I felt like it would be better if there was an actual visual presentation of the game. And uh, I have my two friends here who are like smiling at me awkwardly <laughs> because <laughs> uh, they've played the game before, but it's been a while since we've playtested it again. So. Uh, they're a little rough on it, but I feel like that's going to help us in a way because obviously with you guys who have never really played the game much at all, this will definitely be a good assistance to it. So, uh, we have my two friends here. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, so as you guys know, as you may have seen the tutorial, um, we have the board here. We have all the circumstance event slots and all the uh, minion slots and whatnot. So, um, i say on that note, since we have everything here, the two decks, obviously blue deck, red deck, they're both the same deck actually. It's just, um, it's the farmer deck that's been released, but I felt like um, using them both against one another just to see how well um, they work just individually. But anyways, um, now we can start the game. Uh, obviously you guys start the game, uh, you decide who wants to go first, rock, paper, scissors, whatever. You does go first. <laughs> Alright, that works better. <laughs> yeah, but yeah so. Um, so the way how it works obviously is you guys draw three cards from your deck, and the guy who goes first doesn't draw the card at the beginning of your turn, but aside from that, um, the second guy just goes throughout where you can draw the card. So um, if you guys do remember, you get one action in each clashing tin, as you can see here. This is uh, first over here, second here, third there, so it's just a good reference. Um, so I'd say on that note, Mr. Lefty here, Mr. Blue, if you'd like to reveal your name. Uh, I'm, I'm Matt. Hi. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Matt's just gonna play out his hand however right. he feels right. Um. Need that. Place that dead here. speaker. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna place him here and right. slap him out. Explain uh, that. I already explained slapping out a little in the tutorial video, but um, you've already played an action there, so All right. you'd have to do that next turn. We have another action. Well, now we know. <laughs> All right. But one on each. Yeah, right, so he ends his turn. Obviously, he just played one minion in each Clashington, spending up all his actions, and no cards left in his hand. So, all right, now it's uh, all right. I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> but yeah, now it's your turn. You get to draw a card because obviously you're the second guy yeah. to go, and you get to do whatever you'd like. You have the actions in your Clashingtons. All right, I'm gonna put down some stuff, some horse radishes, and. You want to play a card in the third? Okay. Yeah, throw down my event. Okay, so play the uh, papers, please. That allows him to draw two cards as opposed to the one he normally get. And then, um, obviously, once you use an event, you flip it upside down. Just show it's been used. And then, yeah. yeah, so that's all your actions. So I guess it's now Matt's turn again. Alright. So gets to draw a card. Mm. Alright, so I'll use that turn there. Uh, He's uh, a level two. Oh, he's mm -hmm. a level you two. You cannot be placed in a level one or below slot. Ah. You do oh, have the level three or below there. slot, so yeah. Oh yes, level three slot. Right, so. Just put in the wrong place. We're good. All right, so and I will draw with the other two turns. All right, so as you can see there, um, he didn't have anything to do in his other two clashington, so I just decided to draw cards with that. Yeah. All right. Next turn. Um. And throw down some potato masters. Beautiful. Oh, damn. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Each minion costs an action. Alright. Uh, there we go. And. Anything you'd like to do in the first clash? Nah. You're good? I'm so good. you want to just draw a card? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Alright, so that is the end of Alex's turn. Now it's Matt's turn. Sounds fun. I think I'll put this circumstance right here. Cannonball Buster. Okay, now yeah. um, Cannonball Buster, as you can see on the card, costs zero actions, so it doesn't cost any actions. So you can play another card there if he wishes. And the cool thing about Cannonball Buster, well, I'll just have a uh, image of it up so you guys can see what it does. Anyways, um, let me continue to turn that. For Metal Flashington, I'll put Potato Master as well. Buff that up, and um, I will use the other two turns to draw. All right, 
Now there's an oxus turn. Put down my potato master. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna use rush of sugar. So, uh, what Rush of Sugar does is a zero action card, but allows him to gain extra actions, so it's as if he has two actions in that Clash of Tin. So I'm going to just use that one to draw another card. Alright, and you still have one action left. Uh, in there? Or? Yeah. Actually, no. No, because I put down Potato Master. Master. My apologies. Alright. Um, hmm. uh, Alright, I'm going to put this down for there. And then for this, I'm gonna just draw another card. All right. So, so um, I see you use Rush of Sugar as an event, so you can flip it upside down. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Now it is Matt's turn. And since a turn passed, put a token on this, can't I? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Fancy <laughs> <laughs> hands. Right, so. Fancy counter hands. Right, so. Anything you like I'm to do, sir do... Matthew? I'm gonna do that. Which right. does not cost a turn because it is Blitz Beetle. Yes. It's a special ability. And I draw a card because of that. Because he obviously had the action and decided to use it there. Yes. Now I will also put hmm. What should I do? Uh, I'd say before um anything else, I'd just like to mention now. Obviously since uh, Matt has a clashing tin full, he does have the option to call a clash. But he doesn't have to, obviously. It doesn't cost any actions to call a clash, as I've mentioned before. But um, sometimes you want to wait a little bit, because you know, obviously, your opponent can have a turn to react to it. And right now, as we can see, Alex has Banky, Longway, and Potato Master, which equals 55. And Matt only has a total of 60. So there would be a likely chance that Alex would have a good chance of responding to that and winning. But yes. That's an incentive of not to call a clash. <laughs> It's all good. Real life lessons. Right, so for this class I'm going to use Barrel Fishies. Right. You know the token you have? Of course. Thank you very much. I've got some junk Put in that. my wallet too. We can just Coins and stuff. Just in case you need, yeah. Alright, good. <laughs> um, so basically what Barrel Fishies does is you can spend an action to put a uh, 10 buff in this fishy token onto the field. Which is level 1 so it can be placed anywhere. Yeah. But yes. A little something for now. And uh, in the middle class I will draw a card and that'll be it. Alright, um, I'm gonna throw down Dirt Speaker, I'm gonna call Clashington this. Alright, so Alex currently has a total of 70. Oh, well, great. <laughs> well, Matt only has 25, so that was a pretty good move on his part. Yeah. Well, dang. Does he still have the rest of his turns in he the does. other Clashingtons? So you still have oh, so things you have to Calling okay. a Clash doesn't end the turn, it's just something you can declare during the turn. Okay. Which is good. So the other two Clashingtons, you can still do things right. in um, action wise. It wasn't really in my benefit to call that out, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this down, call a Clashington here too. Wow. <laughs> and then I'll draw a card for this. So we have ourselves 55. 65, 70 here, and Matt has a total of 60. Uh, actually, he has 65 because Horseradish gains five buffiness for each farmer oh, in good. that clash. And so he's only five buffiness behind. All right, but yes. Well, um, that in mind, I uh, gotta figure out what to do here. Uh, <laughs> I draw one card. Beginning. None of these help me. Uh, some of them might. I'm taking a look. Well, I need a specific thing for those. Well, I mean, that's a lesson for another day. This little guy here. He Why are you already has. has it? Should we have our stuff out so that they can see and find out how bad we are? Has it. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well, I think it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to use this event, which draw two cards and get an extra action. Because he has the shovel. And uh, I'll assist you in the next match. <laughs> oh well, uh, since I have another another thing. Oh my gosh. I will use this. And uh, I did not realize you had two of those. And um, Potato Master, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're unconscious now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think he saved up all of his soil cards just to. Yes. <laughs> just in case I needed them. Oh my god. Very well. That is that, Clashington. 
Um, now for this, I need another token. I oh. have one. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, clever. All right. Let's see how it is. Well, I have mind. You have 70 in this one? Uh, yeah, I don't think And I have, have 20 in the... Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're making a recovery there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't really do much there. Um, I will, though, in this Clashington, put a bugging beetle, which I can put on your side. Basically what he does is he reduces all of the minions in that class chin by five. So like he's really five buffiness as opposed to ten. Your horse rash is now twenty, your potato master now twenty five, etc. etc. Mm. So um I'd say the total you have right here, him with the minus five, he's at five. He would naturally gain plus five from potato master, but he gets the minus five, so he's still at just twenty five. So that's thirty, then he's at twenty five, so fifty five right now, and he only has forty five. So you're still ahead there. Well, for now. We'll for see me. what happens. And uh, I, I'm I'm sorry, this clash chat. I'm gonna have to just sacrifice and yeah, I'm just gonna have to draw a card. All right. So now, since he won that one, since I won this, won this one, one, what happens is um, if you win a clash in a clash ten, obviously um, you flip all of your cards in that clash ten face up and just put them in a pile to show that you've won that clash ten. I do that for this as well. And if you have uh, lost the Clash of Ten, then you place all the cards uh, face down, just to show that it has been lost. Also, you can take the uh, counter off. There you go. Okay. That worked really so, neatly. Awesome. We're on to the very last one. Now, what's interesting about this is, with less Clashing Tins, you won't be getting as much card draw, obviously, because you don't have the actions in the air Clashing Tins anymore. Yeah. So, it really comes down to what you have in your hand and what you're drawing from the deck from here on out. He has a lot more cards. <laughs> I prepared for this. Sort of. Okay. Kind of luck. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm gonna put down the Blitz Beetle on top of this. Alright. So he hmm. just slapped out the Bugging Beetle with something that matched or was greater than the buffiness. And it was greater. Yeah. I should say equal to the base, but yes. And now I don't have that debuff that takes down my, uh... Exactly. Great. Yeah. That is just And it didn't cost an action either. So yeah. it still has an action there. All right, so I'm going to... Hmm. So, I'm gonna... Nah. <laughs> I'll just put this down and take out a level one or two enemy. So I'm gonna just make him go away. And you Ooh. also... Oh, yeah, that's all stinky soil does. Yeah, so... So both of those are flips face down because they've been used. Hmm. All right, so I do have a question for my for my move. Um, for this, does yes. it cost an action to use the cannon? It does not. Oh, doesn't say it does. That's nice. <laughs> it's very very good. Well, I will. Um, I think I will take him out in favor of someone else. Rabble rouser. <laughs> and I will, um, I think I will get rid of the, the... faces here. You can, mm, uh, the horseradish. I'll well, take care of him. his ability is when he is played, you may make a minion with 15, 15 or, or less. less. Sorry, sorry, oh, I got mixed up. Right. I was gonna take him out with that and use the cannonball on Potato Master and call the clash. What his ability, what the uh, cannon does is every turn he gets a powder counter and then you can make it inactive and remove all the counters from it and you can make an enemy minion with buffiness equal to 10 times or less as to there it was 4, so 40 or less buffiness unconscious. For everybody at home, Matt likes to cheat, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I like to win. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> A very broad statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh! He did call the clash. All right. Call well, clash. all I can do is really put down a flower buddy, but pretty sure. Oh no! Oh, no, that's that's not so good. That is 55, and you are at 45. Uh, I. Well. Alex gets the clutch. I didn't he expect flower buddy to come clutch. in at the end. <laughs> That was a very good game. game. Very good game indeed. Amazing. Yeah. Good match. Good match.
Good job, yes. Only shake hands, you have to. Yes, this <laughs> is part of the rules. If you don't know, you automatically lose the game. Yes, yes. You lose all, all three clashes and then two more in another game. Yes, even if you already won. Exactly.